Hello, so we are back and this time we have a customer job. This is a Lenovo laptop. i5 A Gen. Yeah, I will not say nice. We have to check inside first. So what this is doing, so check here. You see how the screen is flashing? And it's not a connector issue. I mean, I can, uh, I can bend the screen and it's doing exactly the same or the laptop. And it's doing exactly the same. Hmm? So what can be the problem? The brightness. No, it's not the brightness. So check here. Yeah. So this is full brightness. So if I go to minus, it start flashing. You can see. Yeah, that's what he's doing. This is a hardware fault, yeah? Also, check here, check here also. You can see the brightness, unplug in the charger, back like off. So it's weird and strange, and we have no idea from where is the problem. But first, let's check inside to see if our main power rail is present and stable. Okay, so the laptop is open. Where is the screen ribbon cable? So here we have a connector, here we have another connector. Yeah, so I believe the screen connector is here. Let's have a look under the microscope. Uh, if we have any oxidation or... Yeah, I can't see any li liquid damage on this connector. I mean, it's perfect. It's nothing here. Can we check some things here? Yeah, we can, we can check. Let me plug the charger. Let's get the multimeter. And we have 8.7 volts on the screen. Let me check the main power rail. Let's check the main power rail. So the main power rail is 8.7. Okay, so the voltage on the uh, screen connector is right. At this point, I don't think we can do anything here. Good. Now, in order to fix this, we have to take off the screen and the screen is a slim one and probably stuck on the back. So here is the highest risk to damage the screen. The frame is very flexible. Okay, that was easy. Now we have to take off the screen. Now let's see if we can find the, you know, the, the fingies, yeah? And the fingies are here. Yeah, those. One to go. And now we can take the screen. Let's open the screen. And we can see the screen. So that's the screen. Where is the inverter? The inverter has to be somewhere here. Maybe it's on the other side of the board. No, it's not. It's not on the other side of the board. Okay. So what we are looking for now, we open the screen, yeah? We are looking for the LED on and for the dim signal, yeah? We are not looking for the main power rail, it's fine. So we need two more signals. The LED on and the dim signal. Let's see. 
and you know what, I cannot see them here. No, not on this side of the board. Let's go on the other side of the screen. Okay, so we are on the other side of the screen, yeah? And uh, we can see some uh, things here. What we are looking for is this one, yeah? LED enabled. And we are looking for the dim signal, which I can't see it. Yeah, I can't see it. Can be one of these. PWM can be that one, or all H, I don't know, not sure. But 100% I'm looking for this signal to see how it is, yeah? So I plug the charger, the laptop is on. We are getting the multimeter. The screen is still flashing. So we have ground and we have LED enabled. And we have 3.3, .3. okay, that sucks. Actually, the signal is perfect on the LED enable. Yeah, that sucks. That means it's not, it's not, that's, that's not the problem. That's not our problem. The problem is the dim signal, which I don't know where it is. Can be this, 1.8, or this, 1.7. Okay, check the, let's check the VLED. And the VLED is fine, 8.7 volts, you can see. Okay, let's show you in a different way to find that pin. So I'll take out the screen. Let's leave the laptop on one side. And try to find out if this track is going to our connector. If it's going to our connector, then is the dim signal. Okay, that sucks. It's not going to the connector. Okay, let's go around the chip and try to find a pin after a resistor which is going to the connector. So let's see a pin after a resistor. Let's see this one. No. Let's see this one. No. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I cannot find the dim signal. And without the dim signal, we cannot move forward. Okay, you know what? This one is complicated. I cannot hack it. I mean, usually, you know what I'm doing, yeah? I take the, the LED on, I take the PWM, shorten to 3.3, .3, and you have full brightness on the screen, and end of story. Not this one. The LED on is present, the PWM signal is present, but here is a catch. Usually those signals, they are going to the inverter, yeah? So the LED on, obviously, the inverter is starting, and the PWM, the dim light, um, it's changing the voltage on the inverter, okay? Now let's have a look on this one just to understand what's going on here. So on the screen connector, yeah? Probably if you work with those screens, you know already the schematic of this connector. This is the 30 pin one. Uh, you have this ground. Here you have LED on signal, it's 3.3 .3 on our case. And here you have the dim signal. Now the dim signal, pay attention where it's going, yeah? Here, you can see, so it's, go, it's going to this thingy, which has something to do with the picture, okay? So probably when you change the, when you change the brightness, actually the contrast is changing. And uh, on some point this chip probably is speaking with the inverter chip, which is this one, which obviously none of the chips I could find them on Google, like a data sheet. So, uh, this sucks. I mean, I have no idea where the dim signal is coming to this chip. That's the problem. I don't even know if, 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 what I know, what I know, that's what I know. I know the both signals are coming from the laptop. Yeah. So obviously the screen is faulty. So not sure what we can do. I mean, just buy another screen, it's like 50 pounds on eBay. What I can do more is to try a short e-flow. I mean, what I can do more? I can give them like a short e-flow, it's working good. If it's not working, another screen and end of story. Yeah? So let's do it. A short e-flow on this chip. I mean, that's the problem. You find, you, you cannot find any data sheet. You cannot find anything uh, from these screens. 
and this one, right? Yeah, the inverted chip. Good. Good. So that that one is reflow. That one is fine. Good. And this one. You will be surprised, but this is the first screen which I'm seeing. Uh, with uh, with the signal, actually the dim signal is not going to the inverter. This is the first screen what I'm seeing. So probably they start changing the technology. And like how I said, what I think is doing, I think this ship is changing the contrast with the, with the brightness. That's what I'm thinking, because otherwise it doesn't have sense. Why the dim signals, it will come to this ship? Hmm? It's not making sense. Good. Let's test one more time. I seen some some backlight. Wait, because we reset the BIOS, we have to wait a little bit. It's working. That's sick. That's crazy. That's crazy. Just by reflowing. No, I cannot change the brightness. It was not working. No, it's working perfect. I can't believe. That's crazy. Oh wow, you know you know what? I was prepared. Look, look, look here, look here. I, I was prepared. Okay, it is what it is, and uh, yeah, I have to buy another one. I check the price, yeah, like fifty two pounds, another screen. What you can do, you know what I mean? When we can dodge something we can dodge, but I said you know what, not this one. Not this one. That's crazy. So actually it's working. I can't believe. I don't have the, the bit locker key. And it looks like we cannot adjust the brightness. We can we cannot adjust anything. No. No. We cannot adjust anything if uh, here is like a you know, like a bit locker thingy. That's cool. So this is fixed or not, or it's just a coincidence. I mean, I never seen like full uh, brightness on this screen. Let's press skip this drive. Exit and continue to Windows 11. Let's see if it's working. Nah, he still has asked me for the bit locker key. And I can't test it. But anyway, we checked before and was uh, basically no uh, no backlight. 
Okay, I'll put it all back together. I'll keep an eye on this customer. But this was unexpected. Just uh, reflowing the boat chips and the screen come back to life. Pretty strange. Pretty strange uh, fault. Okay, good. So I'll stop now. If you have this problem, just, you know, just like a last try. I mean, if you have a problem, you know how to, you know, just short the PWM and the LCD on, just short the end of 3.3 and end of story. But if you have this particular kind of screen where actually the, the dim signal is not going to the inverter, I mean, that's all what we can do, just to try to reflow the chips and hopefully it will work. Yeah, shutting down because it's on the recovery thingy. Okay, fantastic. So I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye.